In America, we are concerned with who our children play with, spend time with. When I was a father in my own family, in my own household, in my own townhome, in my own apartment, looking after a wayward child, I was often concerned with what other families around town were a part of my son's social network because of the relationships he had with people in his classes, of what they were doing to my son's thinking. You see, who you play with impacts your children. Who you lay with destroys souls. And what you think is your right may not be your right at all. Your rights are being shown to the world of what you think you have the right to do as a boy or a girl. But one thing we absolutely know is that there is a God above all who is watching you every second of the day. And the minute you start to get arrogant, the minute you start to get uppity, the minute you start to think you are in charge of a play that's really not your play, God may just take you from your life. He might just take your wife and openly he might just kill your husband because of your arrogance. There was a teacher that I studied with for a short time when I was looking for God. And at the beginning of that relationship, it was healthy and holy and helpful. But over the course of time, her arrogance, her generosity waned. Her selfishness became more visible. Her theft was more than obvious. And openly, she still steals from me again and again. She was enabled with some information, and she didn't think of how important it was to keep it quiet. But what she likes to do is destroy people who she thinks are a threat to her life. But what she lost was her son. You see, she didn't think about what God could do to her for her lie. And her lie remains visible in her because while she might be grieving the loss of her son, it could be a total deceit. Maybe she doesn't feel what God did to her to show her defeat. Her lie was the impact it had on her family of thinking that her playing in the spirit world didn't have an impact. Of her thinking that she could say that, hey, we're all gods, we all have this, was immoral. Because God takes and she did not start to quake. But I don't know, because her arrogance was, I'm not going to have you do anything but come and help me with the funeral. After that, she was almost disappearing. And that's great. And her company had worked with her for so long, they were okay with that. But there are liars in every production house, is true. And the liars of American television, and the liars of American film, are starting to produce those works about God's conversation with you. Now they picked some good actors to play God, but where did they get the scripts? Did they build them themselves from their own life experiences or did they steal them off of people's comments and interactions on internet? The liars of American film do do research. They do education. They do write scripts. But what if someone is stealing the script of your life? What if someone is pretending they have rights to medicate you, they have right to abuse you, they have right to sexualize you, they have the right to sell you, they have the right to rape you? What if there's that person in your biological family who thinks they're going to do something to you without your fucking consent? And the truth is God takes. So while you're playing God in someone's life, what is God doing around you to your wife? What is God doing to your daughter? What is God doing with your sons? Because the minute you start to play God, you put everyone around you at risk.